Hey everybody, so just recently I did a speed adjustment for the blower on the second floor air handler and I figured, I know um, many people have had questions about blower speeds and things like that and how you can possibly adjust them. So I'm um, down here with the first floor one just to show you an example. So what I figured I'd show you is basically how the um, how the blower speed is um, is chosen, how it chooses between heat and cool, and what wires you can look at, and also um, what diagram will help you identify what wire is which speed. So let me go ahead and show you exactly um, what wires we have and what speeds we have uh, to start. Okay, so first things first. If you're going to be reaching inside any of this area, you know, be safe, okay? Make sure the power is off. I know for a fact that this board is has power cut by the safety switch here, but I went a little step further and I shut off the disconnect switch, as you can see. So that's not a bad step to take, all right? So just be safe before you do any of this. Okay, so now on most, um, on most furnaces, you'll have this motor, which is called a PSC motor, which means permanent split capacitor. And here's the capacitor right here for it. And basically, the, um, the number of speeds you have will basically be the number of wires you have. And it is particular wires, I'll tell you which one. This particular blower motor is five speed, all right? So the first thing to note is um, we have two brown wires here. I apologize for the light shadow there. You have two brown wires right there, okay? Those go to the capacitor. Now, this, this, there's also a white wire there, as you can see. That's your common wire, or also called your neutral wire. Um, don't mess with that wire, okay? Leave it exactly where it's connected because that doesn't pertain to the speed. What does pertain to the speed is if you look inside here, I'll try to show it to you the best I can. There's a black wire, um, a yellow wire, an orange wire, and you can also see them here, um, a blue wire, and a red wire. Now, in most furnaces, the black wire is high speed and the red wire is low speed. And the speed in between can um, does also have a... Um, a a common set of two, but that can also vary depending on model to model. And if you want to be totally sure of what wire controls which speed, there is there is certainly an easy way to go about it. On one of these panels, either the bottom one or the top one, that can vary as, as always, you'll have some kind of diagram here that will show you exactly, well let me say that again, that will show you the wiring diagram. So if I open this pamphlet up right here, it'll either be in a pamphlet like this, or it could also be um, a, a single sheet of um, paper on the uh, panel. And you can see right here, this is where you can find out what speed goes to where. Let me, go, let me just go ahead and move this to a better surface so I can show you a better example of this. And here's the wiring diagram. Now sometimes, um, and here's the blower motor, sometimes you may have the speeds indicated on this diagram itself, but in my case here you can see I have a chart, and, and I'll tell you exactly how I narrowed it down to let you know which is which. As you can see, pretty much for all models, black is high and red is low. That doesn't change. But what's in between is the ones that change. And here's how I figured mine out. Maybe this will help you a little bit too. Right away, I can rule out three of these, because as you can see, three of them indicate that there's no orange wire. Well, we have an orange wire, so we know that those three don't apply. Now, the other thing that, that, that I was able to use was, if you notice right here, there's a, th this part right here says cabinet width, okay? Now, I measured the cabinet, and it came out to just about 17 inches, and that's how I know which is which. So, if you have a 17-inch cabinet, all models. And as you can see, the standard, the standard in-between ones apply. Yellow is medium high, orange is medium, and blue is medium low. All right? So that's how you can figure your speeds out at, w with use of the diagram and also this chart as well. Let me go ahead and show you um, the circuit board because that also certainly comes into play as well. Okay, and right here is the circuit board, also called um, IFC or Integrated Furnace Control, if you want to have a fancy term for it. So what you, so what you want to look at is right here, okay? On the left side right here, you can see a thing that says cool and a thing that says heat. This is pretty much deciding what speed the blower is going to run for which mode. Cool being air conditioning, obviously, and heat being heat. Now, I should also state that on this furnace and many other furnaces, if you use fan mode, which is, you know, like how you have on your thermostat, you have, um, you know, the fan auto on switch. Um, if, you, if you move it to on, it's going to use the heat speed. Um, as well when you decide to use that option, okay? So as you can see right here, um, right now cool speed uses high speed and heat uses medium low. And what's also important to note is down here, all right, you notice how the, um, 
You notice how the other wires are, are connected to spare terminals, as you can see? Okay. Basically, the spare terminal is something that never gets power at all. It's merely there just to keep the unused wires held in place somewhere. That's all the spare terminals do. They never actually get power and try to power up the blower through that way. Um, heat and cool is where, is where that applies, okay? Now, this particular furnace is a single stage, which means obviously there's just one speed for cooling, one speed for heat. It's on or it's off, basically. If you have a two-stage furnace, um, you'll probably have a, um, a high heat speed and a low heat speed, which I know um, the two-stage ones tend to have. Now, if you have one of those um, variable stage furnaces or one of those variable speed blowers that are called the uh, ECM motor, well, first of all, you have my sympathy. Second of all, that's beyond the scope of my knowledge, the, those ECM motors, so I don't quite know what you got to do with those, so I'm not going to describe how to adjust those. I'm just going to focus on the uh, PSC motor right here. So if you want to change your speed, um, there's, there is a couple things I want to mention first. As I, as I mentioned before, your air conditioning speed is set to the highest speed, okay? I do not recommend lowering your air conditioning speed, and I'll tell you why. Your evaporator coil, which is right inside there, okay, that's not only dependent on refrigerant pressures, but it's also dependent on good airflow for it to work properly, all right? And the way it works, as, you, as some of you may know, is... Um, Basically, that's the, part of the, that's the part of the air conditioning circuit that absorbs the heat in the air and, you know, cools it down. If the airflow through the evaporator is too low, what can happen is there's not going to be enough heat for it to absorb, and then the pressure gets too low, and then the coil starts icing up, okay? If your evaporator coil, if, let me say that again, if your evaporator coil starts icing up a lot and for a long period of time, that can cause problems with your, with your compressor, your air conditioning system. Long story short, you can have a very expensive repair bill, okay? So don't do that. Now, on the other hand, if you want to change your heating speed, generally it's okay to bring it up. You know, more airflow through the heat exchanger, and it shouldn't, you know, cause too much heat loss because those heat exchangers are pretty powerful. So if you want to change the heating speed, and um, let's say, for example, you're not sure what color is actually going to be what speed because the wiring diagram was no help. I can show you how to basically change the speed and show you how to do a test afterwards or maybe do the test before changing the speed. So if you know for sure um, what speed you want to put on, let's say for example you want to bring it from medium low which is the blue wire to medium high which is the yellow wire. So what you would basically do is you're going to with needleless pliers and again be absolutely sure the power is off on the circuit board you just, you just grab one of the wire connectors, okay? Grab onto it firmly, not too tight, but just, you know, firmly. And when you try to pull it off, wiggle back and forth, because you don't want to just try to pull straight off, because you don't want to damage the board. So just give it a little bit of force. See? Came off not too bad. Then you would simply um, pull the, uh, the yellow wire off the spare terminal in the exact same way, and just move it onto the terminal for the heating speed. And um, if you're not sure of the wires, uh, let me just go ahead and show you an example here of how you can do it by audio. And that's basically how it sounds. You're basically going to very carefully listen to how the blower sounds when it turns on. Now, obviously, you're going to be doing this with power applied. So I want to have a couple of disclaimers here or safety, okay? Um, first things first. When you push in this switch right here, okay, you can see I have the disconnect switch back on. When you push the switch back in, obviously the board's going to energize and the blower's going to come on. Please, common sense, don't put your hands anywhere inside here while this thing is going, all right? And second of all, if you have anything loose on the floor that's lightweight, like let's say, for example, you know, uh, loose pieces of paper, some, you know, bags or stuff like that, move them out all, all from this area because that's a very powerful blower that can pull in a ton of air. You don't want that stuff getting pulled in and possibly going on the blower, okay? So just make sure everything is all clear and make sure your hands are inside there when you power this up. So first things first, go to your thermostat and put it on fan mode. Basically put your fan switch from auto to on so we'll use the heat speed. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to basically um, listen between the two speeds that you want and just listen to you know, how the blower sounds when it comes on. So right now I have the thermostat upstairs set to fan on, and I have it back on the blue wire, which is medium low. So let's listen to how the blower sounds on, on the blue wire, in case you're not sure, okay? 
So we're going to push in the switch and let's listen. Okay, and you can kind of hear um, basically how the blower sounded when it was revving up and how it sounds right now as it's running. I know with my voice and the camera, it's not going to be the most accurate, but in person, you can definitely hear how it sounds. So there it is on the blue wire. And obviously, before you go to the next speed, make sure the blower stops fully, just so that way you get the best um, accurate sound possible. Okay, now let's see how it sounds with the yellow wire connected. Again, we're going to push in the safety switch, and let's listen. Oh yeah, definitely louder now with the yellow wire. So I know I had mentioned the speeds before, uh, but I forgot to say, this test is for basically, if you're not sure of what wire is what speed, this audio test will help you figure out what wire is for what speed. And as you can probably hear, even though I am talking over it a lot, <clears throat> um, there was definitely a faster rev up with the yellow wire, and as the blower was running, it's definitely louder, which indicates a higher speed and obviously more airflow. And basically, guys, that's how you um, figure out your blower speeds and how you possibly adjust them for, you know, a heating for heating speeds. Again, I do not I do not recommend slowing down your cooling speed. Generally, raising your heat speed should be okay. Again, if you attempt to do this, please be safe. Again, when you're messing with anything on the board, make sure be absolutely sure the power is off and be very careful handling anything inside here. And when you do this audio test and you're holding down on the switch, don't put your hands anywhere in here and keep everything all clear of the blower. So that's basically your furnace speeds. It will be different for, you know, brand to brand, but generally the board should have a similar labeling on it so you can tell what is what is going what it is going to be for what speed and similar to this video. Hope this was helpful to you and if you do decide to change your blower speed, best of luck and of course, be careful. Thank you very much for watching and take care.